I am on day 14 and I feel really good. If you go back and look at the um, video of, um, on my first day, day one, and just check out the difference in my energy levels and my just overall like energy, it's, it's like night and day. Like at, when I started this fast, I was just coming off of like seven days straight of eating cooked food because when I first got here, I went to see one of my mates and we just traveled around where he lived and I just sampled all the restaurants, the nice Thai food, all that stuff. Cause obviously you have to, don't you? But if this is not a great illustration of the difference in energy levels that raw fruits provide and uh, even the juice fast is more, but is that the energy levels are just, it's just like, I just feel awake and alive and just um, I, I want to be outside and I feel stagnant when I'm sat still but that's not to say that there aren't moments on the juice fast where I don't sit still because yesterday I had a day of what I assume or I know it must have been heavy detox because I took a nap yesterday afternoon and I had these stomach pains and I had no energy and then I went to the toilet let out a solid movement of old plaque and my, this, I just felt energy shoot into my body. And since then I've just felt great. Every time I clear something, um, and it's been the case historically on these fasts as well, every time I clear something, I just get like this surge of energy and then I feel amazing. It almost makes me wonder how I end up eating cooked food again. It's crazy, one meal of cooked food, just one, puts a little bit of a fog on my brain and like a veil it puts over my consciousness and then it makes it harder to see what the cooked food is actually doing to me and I only realize when I begin detoxing again and it's been like that every single time but every time I do go through a detox I reach like a new level so I'm thinking eventually I'm just not going to go back to the lower consciousness shitty cooked foods but I do enjoy eating them and I don't think I'm ready to give them up but for now I'm doing this fast so we'll see what happens after a few weeks. So it's really taken about two weeks to start really feeling really good. Whereas last time I did this, I didn't feel like this on day 90 last time on the long fast. But that's because my body was in such a bad state that the whole thing was like a serious detox. I thought at the time I was feeling amazing, but looking back, compared to how I feel now, I wasn't feeling amazing. Which makes me wonder how high, like what's the ceiling on this? Because if I think I feel great now, am I gonna look back in six months thinking, ah, oh, you thought you look fucking feeling good then? You fucking know, you feel great now, fucking, you know? I'm still, just having watermelon juice and grape juice. It's been about 50-50, so nothing else. Just, I really feel like I'm gonna do the whole thing with just those two fruits, to be honest. I don't feel like I need vegetables. I don't want vegetable juice. Don't feel like I need any other fruits. I don't want them. I'll drink grapes. Grapes are quite a powerful detoxifier. So are watermelons, but grapes more. And when I drink too much grape juice, sometimes it gets a bit too much for me. So I need the watermelon to like level it out a little bit. If I could handle drinking nothing but grape juice the whole time, then I would do it, but it's just, it's not, a, it's not an enjoyable way to experience this because it's just too strong. Every day I get up at about eight o'clock, I'll do a little workout and then I get on my moped and ride to the fruit market. I pick up whatever fruits that I'm gonna juice for the day. Uh, I do that every single day. Uh, I like doing that in the morning. It's nice to get up and out in the sunshine. It's sunny every day at the moment, which is a blessing. It's like 30 degrees in the daytime. And then I come back, I juice the fruits, and then I come to this park, I do a little workout. They've got all workout equipment over there. There's a pull-up bar over there. So I'm just doing, I'm always doing something, like two, two or three times a day I'll do like a workout because uh, I'm really trying to see what transformation I can achieve just from drinking juice. And here is my process for making juice. Right, this is my process. That is a chopping board on Planet George. Get all my stuff. 
Right, so I've got these melons. I've got two different types. I don't know which ones are better out of these. So when I went to get them, I just got two different ones. They're obviously different species of melon, but one's going to be better than the other, but we'll find out in a minute. If I had to guess, I would say I'm going to get about five and a half or six litres out of these melons. Hopefully they're good. So that's it, I'll just chop them straight in the bowl, straight in the bag with the rubbish so I can just tie it up and throw it away so I don't get any flies. I've got to be on it in this place with uh, cleanliness, especially when I'm using fruits because if there is any fruit residue on any surface, it attracts flies and other creepy crawlies. And it seems there's no real discernible difference between the dark melon and the groovy melon. So there you go, there we go, there I go. Watermelon juice. One, two, 3.5, four, 5.5, just over six. So yeah, good stuff. So that takes me about, from, from start to finish, including clean up, that takes me about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. Depends on what fruits I'm juicing. Um, watermelon takes longer, actually, because grapes, you can just drop them in, but watermelon, you have to chop it. Uh, sometimes I can't be asked to chop it, so that's when I tend to go for the grapes. So yeah, about an hour, about an hour a day, I would say, um, to make all the juice. And all of that juice that I made um, today, I will drink all of it. So six liters, I will drink all of that today. Uh, I like to drink a lot because it, I think the more juice you drink, the more hydrated the plaque in the gut's going to get and the quicker I can get it all out, right? And the more I hydrate my body, just the more, more healing. That's my logic anyway. It seems to be working out quite well for me. Another thing is that uh, I seem to have like an increased tolerance for sunshine. Like I can stand it much hotter and I don't want to escape it. Uh, that's kind of been the case actually since I um, did the first fast. So when I first started cleansing uh, with fruits. Uh, something to do, I, I don't know the exact reason, I should, I should know that, but um, John Rose has got a good video on it. Uh, basically how uh, the reason that people get sunburn and they don't go orange or golden or whatever, or brown in the sun, and they can't stand the sun is because of uh, like lymphatic stagnation just underneath the skin. Like subcutaneous lymph under the skin makes it so that you can't handle the sunshine for whatever reason. Uh, I'll need to brush up on that, but... If you want to know about that, John Rose has a video on it. Groovy. Pretty nice in this garden. It's nice having it just round the corner from my gaff. Weird old bugs in here though. I saw a big snake in here the other day, just over there. It's quite sketchy. I really need to learn what these herbs do as well. It would be nice to know. I should really, I did take photos of all the thingies. That's on the to-do list. So there's a pull-up bar in here. Well, I use it as a pull-up bar. I don't know what it's actually for. It looks like it should be. Someone's washing line, I don't know. Who knows? It's fit for purpose though. And most importantly, I have spare energy to conversate and share things with people and just enjoy things. Usually, I'm just thinking, what's next on the menu? What am I gonna have next to stuff in my face? But, because I'm not doing that at the moment, it's like freed up all of this space in my mind. I was just walking thinking, fucking hell, I feel really good. I feel fucking good. If you're thinking about doing a juice fast, do one. Don't do one, do one. You know what I mean?